Have you ever heard of a two-way radiator cam versus a one-way radiator cam? No. Me neither. I had never heard of this. So, Nigel, what is the difference between a two-way radiator cam and a one-way radiator cam? The valve. The valve. One, one has one valve, one has two valves, but they, they look almost identical. The difference is that the one-way cap that is supposed to be on the radiator can only open to release the pressure. That's it. Once, once it closes back down after it's released the pressure, it's, its job is done. That is the brown cap that's on the radiator from the factory. Now, a two-way cap has got a little bit of a dome on the very bottom of the cap where it goes into the fitting. And if you if you look at that, and if you actually just, just pull up a little bit on that little on that little dome, it opens up. That is the second valve. That is what makes the radiator cap a two-way cap. This is what opens under vacuum as your car is cooling off to let your car pull coolant back in from the overflow tank. So, you know, under normal operation, you would be made another video about it where, you know, it, it, the car warms up, the coolant expands, it's supposed to go into the overflow tank, and then when the car pulls off, there's a, there's a vacuum present in, in the coolant system that pulls the coolant back in. That's through the two-way valve. Way valve. At the core of it is if you have two two-way valves, two valves on the overheating maker. So what, what Siru calls in Siru's manual the radiator cap is actually the cap that's on the expansion tank. And the cap that's on the radiator, Suru calls that a pressure relief valve. And in the in the little notes about the pressure relief valve, it says it's to prevent damage to the cooling system. 